What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video! We are back in Stardew Valley showing off some more awesome 1.5 content. We're having a blast with this update and today we're going to explore and dive deeper into some content over on Ginger Island. Before we go to the island, if you come over to the Wizard's Tower, obviously you can buy some special buildings from him with some uh, quite valuable resources. And there is a new obelisk called the Island Obelisk. This will warp you straight to Ginger Island. So you don't have to obviously go through Willy's Boat if you are sleeping back on your original farmhouse in Pelican Town. You'll be able to warp there straight away. It is 1 million gold, so it's quite expensive. But you also need 10 Iridium Bars, 10 Dragon Tooth, which are the new items in the game, and 10 Bananas. So we need to save up for that. I'll have the money and the bars. I need to try and find 10 Bananas from somewhere and also the Dragon's Teeth. Once we get that, I'm going to be building it straight away. So I can actually get straight to the island. It's going to be very handy. But right now, we'll have to stick to the good old Willy's boat. And here we are over on Ginger Island. We've got a few more stuff I want to do today. What I've got planned for this video is this bird here. I want to get over to the other side of here. We need 10, so I need to find 4 more. And then we can get to the other side and show off the content there. So that is my plans today. Or we'll take the ginger, and now I am going on an adventure to try and find four more golden walnuts. In the last video I did, if you watched that one, if you haven't, I recommend you do. Because we are on kind of a journey, you're on a journey with me together, trying to complete all of this content, show it all off, and I'm going through it step by step for the first time, and I'm exploring and showing it off for the first time with you guys. But if we go into this cave, this frog here is requesting some zesty kind of ground fruit which makes the breath stink now a few of you put some comments down below uh, some suggestions what this i saw ginger which is a good shout which i've actually got but you can't grow this in the ground because it is a forage plant and a few more suggestions was garlic so i have brought some garlic seeds with me from the other farm and yeah we're gonna get these in the ground and see if the frog is requesting some of those it makes sense it does make the breath stink but uh, what threw me off is he said it was a zesty ground fruit, which um, garlic is not a fruit for a start. And also, I didn't think it was zesty. To me, zesty was like sour, twangy, you know, quite zingy. So uh, I wasn't sure, but apparently this is what it is because you guys have uh, been letting me know in the comments. So we're going to get this over and done with. And the frog will give us five golden walnuts for doing this. And then we can obviously get the bridge straight away. So let's do this right away. What is this? We just had some kind of night event. A strange sound was heard in the night. What could that be? I've skipped a few days for the garlic to grow and that was a new sound I've never heard before. Um, it was some kind of electronic, like radio pull sound. I have no idea guys, but uh, it sounded pretty interesting. I have to try and find out what that was, but as you can see, the garlic has grown. Which means we can now go and speak to uh, this frog guy and see if this is what he uh, has requested. Let's go and have a look. Me want to eat the zesty ground fruit, but make the breath stink. You be growing the thing outside now? Yes. <gasps> there we go. It's worked. And here he is. Grp. Yes, me eating the thing once made the breath smell bombo bad. Reminded me of Papa when I was just a tadpole. <laughs> me want to take a big bite and smell bombo bad, but me won't. I love this guy. This frog is so cool. So, uh, Kribbit, yes, me remember everything now. Thank her to you for reminding me so much. This the last one reward for you, bub. Yes, five golden walnuts. Perfect. Kribbit, good to see you again, Bombo friend. I hope you do grow into big Bombo fruit, bub. So there we go, that is this little mini quest puzzle of uh, trying to get golden walnuts because there seems to be loads of these on this island and we've got another five from doing that. Absolutely incredible, just what we wanted. Now there is another thing that I'm going to test out is this little bugger here. This little duggy worm, you can't seem to get him and you guys have been putting some suggestions as well and I had a good think myself, what could we do to try and get him? One thing we could do is some fence posts. Now if this will work, this will be insane. So if I can place a fence post on top of that, as you can see, it will stop him from popping up. There we go. He's got no way to go, guys. What can I do? Yes! 
We got him. We got a golden walnut. So there we go. That's the mini little puzzle with this guy. I had no idea how to do this in the last video. I was chasing him around for ages, trying to catch up with him. But uh, it was too fast for me. But there we go. The fence posts did the trick. So thank you for your suggestions and help on that one. Of course, there is this lady here. You can't speak to her because we've got to do a quest, a journal. It's called The Pirate's Wife. That's going to be in a separate video that's coming very soon. I'm going to attempt that. But I've got something else I want to do today, like I said. Also, I remember missing this in the last video. Where is it? I think it was here. Yeah, there we go. Golden Walnut. I missed it in the last video. It was hiding behind the tree. And I completely missed it. Okay, guys. So let's uh, let's go. Let's unlock the bridge. Oh, I found a secret entrance to this side. Nice. That was a sneaky one. I wondered how we got that one. I just saw it behind this tree. I saw like a little entrance or a rock. I wondered what that were. And I've walked down and we've got that one. Nice. Some of these are sneaky. You've got to be on your toes and have a good look around. So there we go. There's someone stuck over that side. And this is what I want to do today in this video. So let's get 10 walnuts. Let's get this bridge. And we'll go and see who's trapped over there. And we'll go and help him. Yes. The bridge has been built so we can get over this side guys this is the first time for me you've just witnessed me doing that for the first time now we've got some kind of like fossil stones here as you can see we get some bone fragments which are new in the game you can actually craft this into fertilizer oh, we've got clay blocks too that's a great way of getting more clay because it seems quite hard to get in this game clay it's like a little mini uh, artifact quarry this like a little fossil quarry we've also got some worms Wild bait. Oh, a bone fragment and a mahogany seed. And the last one, we'll go and talk to this guy in a second. Some mixed seeds and a tarot tuba. Break all these whilst we're here. Nice. I'll go over to this side as well. We may as well clear all this up and I want to get everything that we can uh, get here. Because we are going to need it. Oh, I found a skeletal hand. Interesting. And a fossilized leg. So we found two fossils there. Wondering what we can do with them. So that is all cleared. Now let's go over to this side. Can we break this down? There we go. Let's save this guy. Oh, this is a big rock. Even with the Iridium pickaxe. How long is this going to take? I don't think it's working. Try something else. Okay. Um, a bomb's got to do the trick, right? Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> yes. We did it. We tried a bomb and it worked. And here he is. Look at this guy. Thank you. I thought I was done for. This guy looks awesome. I've been stuck in this cave for months. Looks like Gunther, but a little bit older and different. <laughs> One more cave mushroom salad and I would have gone off the deep end. Oh, so rubbery. Anyway, I'm Professor Snail. So that's his name. Nice name. I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora and fauna for the last year. Truly a remarkable place. Well, I think I'll go back to my tent and freshen up a little. I'm afraid I smell like mushrooms. Hey, uh, you should stop by the tent sometime. An enterprising individual like yourself could be a major asset in my projects. <laughs> Farewell. So the little tent that we've been in before, back at the other, the other side, uh, is Professor Snails. And look, there is a mushroom cave here. This is what this guy's been living on. He's been eating mushrooms in this cave and he's been trapped in here. He's, a, he's very lucky that the mushrooms were here. Before we go to the tent, I want to explore a little bit more because I do see some golden walnuts and also there is new areas that we can go. Look at this. So let's go over to this side. We can get this golden walnut here. Da -da -da. Now how do we get up there? Is this, up, is this the furthest that we can go? There's a little cave there. I really want to get inside there. Also the bridge. How do you get to that side? We found a journal scrap. Nice. Oh my god, a fossilized spine. We're finding some good stuff. Fishing seems very good on this island. Not just for fish, but for loads of stuff. Ooh, got a fish here. I'm fishing off this bridge into this little cave or gap in the wall. And there uh, we've got a fish. What is it? Oh, we found the blue discus. This is one of the new fishes. Yes. We need this. This can go into my tropical uh, aquarium tank at home. And we've unlocked it in the collection tab. That is two of the new fish we found. There's still one more. I believe it's the stingray. It looks like a stingray on the uh, the blacked out shadow. Found another journal scrap too. The next day. And whilst we're waiting for Willie's uh, shop to open to get across, I thought we'd dress a little bit more 
suitable to go over to the island. As you can see, we now look like some kind of crazy pirate. We've got a pirate's hat on with a patch. We have got a kelp shirt made out of seaweed. And we've got the mayor's lucky purple shorts with some dragon scale boots. Hey, this pirate is the best looking pirate I've ever seen. Willie's even jealous. That was cool. There was a little crab here waiting for me. Right, come on then, Willie. Take me away. Ahoy, matey. I'm a pirate too. And it's raining. Oh, there's the bird. We need this one. Okay, let's go get him. Yes. So we've got an amethyst. This is the third one. We need one more. And then we've done the four gem birds. Love it. Let's go and donate this one. Oh, well, place it on one of the, uh, the statue things. So this one was on the beach, right? So where the water is here, it's got to be that one. So now we're just missing one on this side. Uh, not sure what that's going to be. Okay, so let's go to the tent and find out what Professor Snail wants. We're looking a little bit more ready for this island. We look like we live on here. We belong here. Oh, there's lots of ginger today. Woohoo! Okay, and here we go. Let's go. Ha, huh, come in. Welcome to my field office. Ooh, uh, as you can see, it's quite empty. Getting stuck in that cave was a huge setback to my project. So this is essentially like uh, Gunther's museum. I'm guessing he's gonna want the fossils we've been finding, right? But that's where you come in. <laughs> of course, we love helping everybody. I'm in the bone business, you see. Ancient bones in particular, and this island is full of them. So if you ever encounter any bones, fossils, or mummified specimens on this island, bring them to my desk, okay? I'll make it worth your while. So there we have it. Anything that we find, we can come and donate. If we go back to the farmhouse uh, on this island, I have actually got some things we've been finding from the other videos, and we have got some things here as well. We've got a fossilized spine, some legs, a skeleton hand, some bone fragments, and I'm sure we found a mummified bat in a couple of uh, videos ago. So let's go get everything that we've found so far, and we'll go and donate it. This is exciting. It gives us something to do on this island, you know? It keeps you occupied, and that's what it's all about. So this is the chest. Oh my god, it's just absolutely full of stuff. <laughs> so we've got a mummified bat. So let's go back after actually, let me put this fish in my tropical tank. Look at this guys. So I uh, did find out as well after the last video that you can put seaweed, rocks and coral into these tanks to make them look a little bit more realistic. It's so cool. So there's another new fish that we found swimming around in there, my tropical tank. All we need now is the stingray or the stingfish or whatever it's called in this game. And uh, that's going to look so good in there. And that's all the fish so far that we catch on this island. Love it. Professor Snail, I found some stuff. Welcome. Uh, donate. Okay, look at this. Oh, I love it. So we've got a mummified bat. Oh, Oh, so this is all the things we can find in total. So it tells you where it goes. Oh, we found two legs. So this is like a big animal. We've got some kind of serpent snake and then a mummified bat and a mummified frog. So we still need seven more things to find. We've got four so far. That's not bad, guys. Beautiful. These bones are exactly what I'm looking for. Now, let me clean my magnifying lens. Yeah, is that it? Collect rewards. Hey, a golden walnut. Let's go. I mean, we need them. We do need them. Uh, we can take a hint. Before I got stuck in that cave, I was exploring the little gully nearby. The stones there are full of fossils. If I were you, I'd be breaking them open to look for bones. Okay, so we kind of figured that. Island survey. Please report the number of purple flowers present on the island. Purple flowers. Oh my god. Is that all of these? That's going to take so long. A few moments later. Oh, god damn it. Someone just knocked on my door. And I forgot to pause the game. So have we got to go around and count all of these purple flowers? That's going to take so long. But we've got some more uh, rocks here that we can hit. And this is where he said that we can find some bones. So we need to make sure we hit these every day. Oh, a snake skull. I just dug one in the ground. Can we dig the soil? Or the sand? I wonder if you could find some through there. But that little worm gave us one that we need. We've got the serpent skull. So cool. Shall, shall I try and count the, the purple flowers? That's going to be so hard. But first, let me donate this. There we go. Some, we just need the body and the tail of the snake. Beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. No reward? Okay. 
Uh, so let's have a look at this. Uh, please report the number of purple flowers on the island. Oh my god, so it's between 18 to 24. Okay guys, let's go and count. It shouldn't be too hard, surely. I'm going to go back to the start and work my way up. Oh, this is going to be tricky. If I guess it wrong, does it like disappear? So here we go. Let's start. So one, two. You can do it with me, guys. Three. Okay. Three on this side. Four. All right, all right. Let's go in here. Wait, wait, did I count that? Oh no, I think it's six. I think I counted that, right? <laughs> I think so. It's six or seven. Oh god damn. I think it's six. Let's go for six. Let's go up. Okay, six. Okay, so it's 21 or 22, because I couldn't remember if I counted one. Uh, more so I think let's do let's do 20 first 20 is there. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, we've got to wait till tomorrow No. Okay, it's 21, right? It's got to be no Okay, so it's the next day and it's gonna be the last day of this video It's raining again, which is awesome. Let's see if we can try and find The new bird We need the last one, right? <gasps> there it is. There's a bird there. Yes, it's the last one And it's a topaz. It's the yellow Oh my god, the gem birds are done. I wonder what happens for doing this. We finally got the last bird. We're going to put that one on there. Hopefully it's in the correct order. And uh, that should be completed. And then we can go and uh, do that flower thing as well. <gasps> Ooh, fossilized, uh, fossilized ribs. That's a new one as well. So we can go and donate that as well. We're on to a bloody good start today. What a day. So here we go. Let's go and put this one on there. Oh, <gasps> yes! We got five golden walnuts, so this little uh, quest or puzzle has been complete. That is another one done, and we got another five golden walnuts. Absolutely insane, guys. Now let's go to the field tent and uh, complete that today. Well, not complete it, but get some stuff done. So 21. That's what I think is right. 21 purple flowers, please. It doesn't fit. What? How many is there? It's got to be 22. Okay, donate. So we've got this one there. So we, s we just need five more, guys. We we're doing good. We're doing good. You've outdone yourself, Chris. This is one of the most pristine specimens I've ever seen. Thank you. And, uh, no? Okay, no reward? Jesus. Is there anything else that we can dig up today here? Let's see if we can find any more fossils. We've got some more ginger. Oh, a prehistoric skull. Well, that's not what we need. That's an actual artifact over in Pelican Town for that museum. So if you are struggling to still complete the museum, guys, in Pelican Town, you can find a lot of the like prehistoric stuff up here. That is uh, a few things I found now. The skull, and what was the other one that we didn't need? Might have been the vertebra. But look, I've already donated that, so that's pretty cool. Before I end the video, I am going to count every purple flower again, just to double check. And... Um, We'll end the video by doing that, hopefully. So let me go again. Okay, so I've definitely counted 22 so far. Unless there's another area that I've not unlocked yet that I can get to, and there might be more there. There's definitely 22 so far on the unlockable areas. And I'm also gonna buy this Parrot Express for 10 walnuts. So now we can teleport to these little like perch things here, what they're building up. And we can get across this island a little bit more quickly. There we go, look at that. So if I want to go back to the dig site, or the docks, the jungle, the volcano, we can literally just do that and it'll take us everywhere that we uh, we need to get to. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to go to sleep and guess 22 in the morning. If that's wrong, then I have no idea what it is. Maybe there's more that I've not unlocked yet, like I said. Let's go up and use the Parrot Express straight to the dig site. That should be close enough. Look at that! <laughs> it's so cool! And here we go! This place is right in the corner. We need to do the dig site today as well. Oh! An artifact trove. A blacksmith can open this for you. 
These troves contain ancient relics and curiosities. And we also got golden coconuts. This is one tough nut to crack, but a professional might be able to break it. That's Clint. That's got Clint's name written all over it. A golden coconut. That's really awesome. That's two new things there that I've not seen before. Artifact trove and a coconut. I wonder if uh, Clint can open them for us. A blacksmith. I mean, he's one of the best blacksmiths around, so he's got to, right? Well, first of all, let's uh, do this. I'm hoping it's please be 22. Yes! We did it. We got some... Oh, is that just one? One golden walnut? Yeah, well, I mean, it'll do. There's also... Uh, we've got another report for the purple starfish. Oh, my God. That's going to be so grindy. So, look, we're filling this out. As you can see, the purple flowers are now there. I'm guessing this side is going to be the starfish. And that's just to complete it. So, I mean, I could try and do that myself. They're going to be these things on the beach, right? Oh, wow. That's going to be so grindy. What's, what's the numbers between... 11 to 18, okay. Let's give it a go. I should probably end this video here, but I'm so addicted. I'm just going to complete this one. And then we might crack open the two uh, artifact and golden coconut. And we'll leave that one there, alright? That's That's got to be it. Okay, so let me do this. Eventually. 17. 18. Okay, I've got 18. That's got to be right. First time, 18. Come on, please. Can we do this today? 18 is the last one. Yes! That seems very accurate. Thank you. So there we go. Another golden walnut. And now, the reports are done. We've got the two plants in there as well. So we're getting this nearly complete, guys. Now, I'm going to take a trip to Blacksmith, Clint, and then uh, we'll wrap up this video right there. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, you're still watching, and you've enjoyed it, please consider liking the video. I am grinding right now on the 1.5 content and i'm having a blast and uh, hopefully you guys are as well i appreciate all the love and support let's take the horsey and let's get out of here we could use the minecart let's go to the town right let's see what happens uh process there we go so this is the uh the artifact trove i'm not I'm not sure if this is new or not I think we've had those before, right? There was up in the desert, maybe. But these are the new ones. The uh, golden coconuts. What can we get? Oh! Do you just get golden walnuts? Oh, no. We get some other stuff, too. <laughs> so, we get some seeds. So, there we go. Another golden walnut. We're on five right now. And we got... The uh, golden relic artifact. Which I've already completed the museum on this one, so... Didn't really need it, but that's awesome. So you know what, guys? I think that's where we're going to end this video. That was the field research office uh, where you can find fossils and special artifacts of creatures, all different shapes and sizes. You have to try and complete and donate it and help Professor Snail. We've also done a few more stuff around on the island. We've finished the gem birds. We've finished that little green worm in the ground we've made some good progress and we've gained a lot of golden walnuts we're currently only on four because i have been buying things with them but we're getting closer so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe if you're new here if you want to keep up to date with the 1.5 content and carry on with this journey with me of uh, exploring it deeply and uh, just enjoying it together you know it's all new for me every time i jump into this and record a video this is all new to me i don't pre-record i don't play it whilst i'm not recording you know i just this is all new for me and i see all for the first time with you guys and it's, it's so fun i love it so yeah thanks for watching guys make sure you stay safe have a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye bye